they're not like Heritage Grace because I'm not familiar. No, with no, no Heritage people. Grace is a good church. We don't go to like evil, wicked churches. And then the, uh, the flip side of that is why are you all here? Well, when we, I, like I spent seven months every single day, Monday through Friday, at a clinic. It's so, so, it breaks my heart, man. It's so sad. So I run to the church, other Christians, and say, look what's going on. Like, they just loaded up a 55-gallon drum of dead babies in the back of a semi-truck that said environmentally friendly hazardous waste yeah. removal. Yeah. How can we ignore that? So I run, and I, and I say, hey, Christians. And they say things like, and I'm not trying to be rude. What but, is the cause of that? Why, why would men, why would men degrade the very image bearers? Because they hate God. They love their sin. What is the cause of that? They, you they, keep addressing the symptom. What is the cause? The cause is they're, they're, they hate God. They're lost. No, that, right? that, that's the symptom. They're not saved. Not saved. Yeah. The great sinner. Right. Human, children of Adam. Right. Until that changes. But, saying, but we do both. Stop doing what you're doing. Right. I'm saying until that changes, men will continue on the course that they're on because right. it's their nature to do those things. Right. But if our religious leaders just went to the governor, he would make abortion illegal. But you know what? Like even when there's a bill that will make abortion illegal, the churches don't even talk about it. They don't even tell people about it. HB 948, it would have made abortion illegal. We had 10 senators that signed on it. It was held up by a pro-lifer. You know, like all I'm saying is, let's keep doing all the other good stuff. Let's meet, let's praise God, let's do all these things. Let's feed the homeless, let's street preach. But we could easily make abortion illegal. Like, I'm not here because I hate you, man. We could do it easy. We could do it easy. We just don't really care. If, we, if they were killing anybody else, like preschoolers, yeah. Or, so there's, there's definitely uh, it, apathy from the visible church. Yeah. You know, there, there's a and, lot of apathy for issues. And I'm not mad at you guys. I'm not mad at Emilio or so Heritage like Grace. Well, and, and you know what? I'm not even trying to um, end abortion. That's where, that's, see, that's where it's like when you start. I was telling him it's like in Judges with Gideon. As soon as Gideon died, what did the Israelites do? They went back and pulled after the idols. Yeah. So it's like if you rally behind symbols and movements, it doesn't even matter what happens to it. You know, I mean, the, the, the AHA doesn't matter. The only thing is, is we're, ab we're abolitionists, like the abolitionists of slavery. So what they did is they worked together on projects, like in Seattle and stuff, and in Oklahoma, and, and we got Dan Fisher to, to run for governor up there. So we're, um, we're Christians, you know, and we're saying, hey, let's work together. And how do we know who each other are, you know? We agree to the tenets, you know? And, and anybody that like says, I'm a, I'm a sinless perfectionist. We're like, you understand the gospel? Like, you understand, you know? And so if they call themselves an abolitionist, we know where they stand. If they call themselves a Christian, they could work at a Planned Parenthood. They could be an abortion doctor. You know, like Christians, everybody's a Christian, you know? And so... Commission, there, right? Yeah, there's scripture about the local church and what that looks like. I got yeah. one of those. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, thank that's you. A, that's a really good yeah. thing. Because a lot of people think, well, we, we go out and preach. That's good, right? I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I'm not I go out, I preach. Right? Love your wives. Like, dude, right. all of this would be in vain. It really would. You know, the Lord can take a crooked line and He can make a straight line. Out. Right. But it would be in vain. Like, to me, we go out and tell them to go to the whole Okay. I didn't go out, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying that to like both, like hey, I didn't go out seven days a week, but we try to go out at least twice a month. Don't, and don't you wish 
that and it, and it's like the, the church would like rise up because literally man in one day the government the governor could make it illegal in like one day yeah. and how do we have i mean see really it's about our relationship with god and loving our neighbors ourselves right because when we do that and we're obedient to christ it, it really does change everything i mean the low-lying fruit the reason i love the abortion issue is because it shows the heart of the people in the land yeah. right so if abortion child sacrifice is the number one cause of death and there's 13,000 orphans in Texas waiting yeah. to be adopted and nobody wants them yeah then that shows the heart yeah, we, we should have orphanages you know the, the church should be the we could have 13,000 kids in our in our you know but you know what it's just how it is you know you don't throw yeah, you don't say I preach. You know, God doesn't call me to save or orphan. That's the thing. It's like I mean, trying to find. Yeah. There is yeah. a, internally for me and my wife. There is a struggle. There is a criticalness of my brothers and sisters because it is a lonely cause out there. When you're there, but you, love you them. send out the message, and you're like, "Who's coming this Saturday?" Yes. Yeah. You know, it's just a really far drive. It's inconvenient. You hear that, and you're going, "Wait." Well, how inconvenient is it for them? And so that stuff yeah. like that does discourage you. And, and the temptation yeah. is not to, well, you know, just say, oh, Right, you don't do that. Like, we don't do that with these guys. Yeah. Like, we're still here pleading, right? Even well, though I, the... I commend you. I don't think you guys are being hateful. I think you guys are really wanting to interact. And, you know, we need more. I don't know how popular I'd be if I saw We need interaction. You get kicked out. Like he, he's just so mad at us, you know. He says we're not even brothers, you know. And uh, it's like, well, I'm not familiar with what he said. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't feel comfortable talking about. It. Yeah. I'm not afraid of Emilio. It's just yeah. that's between. You don't want to hear. But yeah. But like, I'm not mad at him. Like, I'm not upset at him. I'm not like vindictive towards him, you know. Yeah. I'm not, you know. I'm and I'm here just pleading the cause because yeah. it is the low lying fruit. It's like, yeah. it's like, how can we, you know. The most defenseless among us, man. Yeah. They can't, you know, speak up, what is it, uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it to the message. Yeah. Just speak out for the voiceless. Yes. Like, that. That's like, actually that, what it says. Yeah. <laughs> Be a voice for the voiceless. Yeah. Voice for the voice <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. he says is do what do what my word says like and i say okay what do you want me to do he says, oh man you know what you're supposed to do yeah. like you've read it bible you studied the bible you yeah. know like do that, that, that that's the hard you know and people can get mad at us and that's okay no not at all I don't I, my name is todd support. so hey Corey. i got to talk to them Maybe I'm lost, you can save me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, it's, the, it's the same thing, you know, with uh, you know, the Reformation, yeah. uh, the Presbyterians and the yeah. Baptists. Right? You look at the Anabaptists and they were baptized with children, and, and the, the, the magistrate, the church, the yeah. state church, are the ones that we love and praise God for because they go along. Yeah. With the Bible, to the economy, to yeah. God. Yeah. I don't want to learn from that. I don't want to ever yeah. treat you guys like that. 
been. Well, thank you, because I don't want to be drowned. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Well, pray, you know, that men will rise up yeah. and, you know, defend. And I want to encourage y'all, man, because if there, I, I can see, like, you know, you look, it's just the street evangelism in general. There is a disconnect between the street evangelist and the local church. They're yeah. like, wait, so the street evangelists, hey, boys, I would get out of there and the flowers. I want to encourage you, like Grace Life Church of Dallas is in Atlanta, it's off of Parker and 75. I don't know how, I, I don't know if our elders would be in agreement, like with, with you guys, but I, they would most certainly be willing to talk. But what I want to encourage you is like they've recently been burdened, they've publicly repented before the body. That's awesome. About what revival, our right? Apathy, our yeah, apathy. and it lines up with what I hear from the it lines up, yeah. and so. You know, for me, it was like for years, it was like, you know, we, we should be, the abortion thing was in my mind, like, well, what can I do? What can I do? And I'm yeah. like, I'll wait till somebody goes and then I'll go with them. But then finally, it was like, what's going on? So awesome, man. We, we grabbed signs, dude. We went out yeah. there and God blessed it. And so I just wanted to encourage that there, there does, at least there, I can say the Lord is stirring up. And, I, and, we, and we know that. Um, like four years ago there was one abolitionist society now yeah. there's like 200 and something there, there's and they're all over the brooks place that meets out there i don't know if you're familiar with brooks i think he meets at one uh, society old guy brooks, old guy. brooks. i brooks yeah. down out in the fort worth yeah. abortion man yeah. 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 yeah yeah he's out too praise god he's been out there yeah. for years i've seen him out there for like a, a did you get the texas one years. no i didn't so uh, a comment that was made about him he was like Someone's like, you know, talking to a brother, it's like, like, Brooks might be so close to the throne of God when we get to heaven, just because this old man, you know, he's frail, he's old, and, and it's just, his faithfulness, man, it's incredible. Yeah. Me being a young man, in my youth, in my, bigger, you know, bigger, <laughs> I got, you know, <laughs> nah, just nah. listening to his testimony, how long he's been going at it alone, and just, oh, when we showed up out there, just how encouraged he was. But he's not alone because the Spirit yeah. of God is with you, man. Yeah. And, you know, that's what spurs you on. Because when you see, like, the hand of God pull scales off people's eyes, you know, yeah. or soften their heart, or, like, they come to repentance. Yeah. I mean, that's where yeah. standing on. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> that's the greatest, one of the greatest gifts yeah. God's ever given yeah. us yeah. is yeah. to yeah. the church to repent, be able to repent. Well, out of all our signs, that's the one they hate the most. In fact, they, they act, I think it, no, he's not here, but he actually started taking them down. I, I saw the man. And, and I'm like, man. please, I, I go, please don't steal my signs, I you know? I see the sign, and I'm like, oh. So when I asked him, he was like, so what exactly are you calling us to repay? So what's the you are calling us to, so what, what's here? Yeah. Yeah. It's the church of God. I mean, that's, that's Roman Catholicism. <laughs> that is right, man. That is right, I'm yeah. Not everybody in no, no, no. Yeah, I I agree 100. I gotta get these boys some food, man. All right, all right. God bless you, man. Thank you. Talk, you know, your name was Todd. Todd, yeah. Four. Yeah. Abolition Society of Little Elm. So. How you doing, sir? Hey, can I give you some information on how we can make abortion illegal here in Texas? 